All right, what's crazy is, is when I look at this picture, this is exactly when I knew I was going to pursue this. It was me standing on the inside of the two tallest trees right where my current dock is. I had just walked in underneath the canopy and looked around and there was an antenna. It's the makeshift antenna or the uh, internal antenna that was telling me, Corey, until someone tells you no, you have to pursue this. This is a one-off, one of, one of a, once in a lifetime opportunity to have your own, which would now be Muscle Island, that you have to pursue this at every length, full go to give yourself a chance. And then as I'm, I'm checking this out, we did a video going around the entire island after I got back on the boat and my brain was just going every which way thinking I could do this, I could do that. I immediately, this is what's crazy, as I'm driving around this thought, there's a reason why, obviously, no one is built on this. This is the perfect opportunity for me to do a shipping container house that I'm lightweight obsessed with from online. And so, two things. I see that picture and I go, oh my gosh, I knew I was going to pursue it. I take this video and I ride around the uh, outside of the island and realize all the possibilities. And I just made my mind up literally right there that this is fucking what was next for me. And that I was going to have to go all in, every resource, ask every favor, and take, you know, literally go all the way to the end of the line till physically or financially or whatever it was, someone would say no. And as you know, they did not. And so that's kind of where, like, my brain goes instantly. I'm so glad I did some of these clips. And obviously, we're retroactively going back and looking at them. And I'm trying to make sure I tell the story. And I'm so glad I did this, even this amount of capturing, because of the, um, the opportunity to, to tell this story exactly how I felt in that moment. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's honestly pretty staggering to look at this and think, back as this is the first boat ride with my wife with uh stacy around the whole island because when brian peters took me there the first time we didn't ride around the whole thing but then as we went the next time and i was like wow this is really a possibility like if i can put the energy into this that i could really have a situation like this in my life and i just could not get it out of my brain from that moment on and i've been basically obsessed since Man, this tree on this point is sick. It's a very nice decision. Really, right here, Ray. What do you think? Right in this opening. Or over there. This, this seems like, uh, out of all the stuff that's... Um. Yeah. Oh, I'm just working. Uh, yeah, there's uh, there's a listing in. As you go into like now it's closed, we're rocking and I'm and literally stepping on the island with Owen and Cullen. They're the only two that said, hey, we can go the first day, G. What do you need us to bring? I said, I need you guys to bring weed eaters. We took uh, hedge trimmers and we had a rake. And it's all mostly vines is what you're seeing right here. But it literally is like we dropped us in the middle of the woods and it's like try to make some paths, figure it out. This thing was completely untouched for a hundred plus years. Like it just, it's unbelievable. But them going on the island with me and saying, what is our process? I wish I would've took more video. That is one thing like of day one, because I can never return that. But I got this one clip that reminds me, we were like, fuck, this is crazy. Um, but being able to kind of get our path point and then to this, uh, other picture, 
uh, as Anden is walking through the path that we created in the first like two weeks that we were there to go fishing. That moment right there, honestly, was a, was a major driver for me wanting to do this project is for more family time. Of course, it's fucking sick to have an island and now we're going to be able to use it for business, do all kinds of cool things. But spending family time, I know Andon loves fishing. He wants to go there all the time. The more family time that I could get in this type of environment is unbelievable. It's priceless. And me watching him walk through that part of the island with his um, you know, his tackle box excited about fishing. And just in that moment, I was like, this is exactly why I did what I wanted to do. And so I'm so glad I was able to capture that moment of not only him walking through, but his setup he had on the one part of the Island with his, you know, with his fishing pole and just the evolution is that in that time with him has continued, which has been unbelievable. And just seeing the guys resting. And as, as we got, a big opening and I'm just so glad that I captured some of these things so I could come back and tell you guys really what I was thinking, what was happening and just like the ideas that this could be a reality. Pretty awesome. All right, we're getting a lot done today. We've got Joe Johnson in the house. He's managing the fire. Yes, sir. We got it opening up. My new favorite toy right here. Shout out Diego and Soy for helping the homie out. Sawyer in the house. We can see the water much better. Getting the beach opened up. The head trimmer. All right, welcome to the newest project. We had a crew the last two weeks, multiple different guys come through and just completely change this thing. Over here, we kind of uncovered the beach. Now you can actually see it. I come on back through here. We got all these big logs through here. You can see all the brush. Basically, the whole place looks like that does back there. It's a 1.25 acre raw island, completely untouched since it was created. And now it's wide open. The crew today, we'll look back on this about 20 years and be like, yeah, this is fucking sick. <laughs> Big ass fire, tons more to burn. And then over here, the vision is to build 
super sick container house right here. Then I have to clear down a few more trees, some of the dead ones. But when I stood on this for the first time, I literally couldn't see the water. And now from the inside, you got a pretty, we still got a lot to clear up through here, but the process has been super rewarding. I ain't touched that. I ain't touching that for a while. All right, thanks.